Hello everyone, we're back in AJ Styles' career mode, episode 22, I think, or 23. I'll check it later on. Don't need to, you don't need to worry about it. So we're here at Extreme Rules, fighting the big red machine cane for the title. Defend the title against him. So the question arises, well, Kane, the big green monster, will be able to will be able would be able to survive against the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. Or maybe, maybe we can take this uh, take it this way. Uh, we can say that well, AJ Styles, the phenomenal one, would be able to survive the big green machine, Kane. We'll get to know it today only. Let's have a look at other matches. Randy Orton vs. Sheamus is a false count anywhere match. Mark Henry vs. Dean Ambrose is an extreme rules match. Oh man, how did how in the world Dean Ambrose made this decision? Okay, so two on two normal tag team match would be up against uh, the Usos and uh, the Lucha Dragons. Then Jericho vs. The Rock. The, I think it is it is a great match. It is. They have. Uh, they have had a rivalry, and tonight maybe they can take a rematch. Uh, I don't want to go to the depth of this point. It's a normal match. Okay. Kevin Owens versus Batista is an extreme rules match. Big Show versus Daniel Bryan is also an extreme rules match. Rollins versus Brock Lesnar. Rollins going to be destroyed. Okay. It is a normal match. One on one title match. Kane versus AJ Styles. It's not a normal. It shouldn't be a normal match. I think it should be. Um, it should be a an extreme rules match. Let's see. It's a main event. Kane has got a chance, and yeah, it is an extreme rules match. Let's go straight towards the match. Kane is known as a big red machine, the big red monster. Let's see if he wins the championship because Stephanie McMahon has chosen him as the number one contender. And that's all because he is the only one who hasn't, have, who hasn't had a match with AJ Styles. The following contest is an extreme and it is for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. What a match with AJ Styles. And they, all of them have won tag out to AJ Styles. Except for King. Except for King. It's King. Yes, that's another reason for King. I've never had a match with uh, AJ Styles. But that's another thing. But, and, let me do that with me. Won't quit. All the other people in the audience to do Seth Rollins, Big Show, and most of the people who chose to fight AJ Styles had tab, some where sometimes tabbed out to AJ Styles on the the after the first step when AJ Styles did that the first time, the first time in that match. Let's see if Kane survives it. Kane has mentioned in an interview that it is sure that he will. It is 90% I mean said that 90% chances are that he would have to the path to the Rocky Sun. But 100% chances are that he will not die out. That's what he mentioned in an interview. And Kane Let's see if you really was, I mean, is it motivated? Set it by being motivated or is it just set it up? Let's see, we'll check it out today. Tonight, right now. Now, introducing the WWE World Champion. Phenomenal 
won AJ Styles. After weeks of talking about it, we are finally here to put an end to the dispute so now, of who is better. After, I mean, two or three days, maybe? Oh, look, he's spinning. Because he knows that what will happen. Both men enter this match with tidal waves of momentum. Which sit now, down a collision human grip lock fishing, moment. human grip lock it's all around him, and, and these two men wouldn't have pushed it any other like way. Getting with a big punch on AJ Styles. Because there is also a fact that Styles also, also knows that what will happen in this match. Folks, we're in Rosemont tonight. A city now, Styles is getting a beating. WrestleMania two. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I think of Kane in historical career defining moments. I think back to June 23rd, 2003. That's one in a game. championship versus mask match against this Triple time, H. Kane, Kane was defeated. And for the first up. time in WWE, took off his mask and showed his face. No way, he just thought it was a great one. Oh, game. man, what a face it was. I he remember that night when Kane was unmasked in New York City. It was an unbelievable sight. You can hear the entire New York City crowd react in shock at what they saw. I think the public's reaction fueled Kane to become and again, even more, a great and even more game. destructive, if you can believe that. What do you believe Styles is thinking about? Definitely looking good now so far. Styles Hasn't to taken too much punishment up to this point. Contest. Making his presence felt there. Lifting up Kane. Now, punching Kane right on his face. Whoa, and a bit of a test Human of strength here. Machine. I love it. This is a good old-fashioned battle of... Power versus power. That night in New York, Kane lost to Triple H was definitely a night that will live on in WWE history forever. To see what Kane looked like, to see how he lashed out afterwards was truly a sight to behold. Sometimes the reaction from the crowd says it all. When Kane unmasked on Raw, it was definitely one of those times. The collar and elbow tie up in a battle for control <laughs> here. Yeah, Michael, it's so important to come out of this Ridiculous. on top because you can do so many things to your time. opponent from this Let's position. Hey, just once again at the top. Whoa, and a bit of a test of strength here. I love it. This is a good old fashioned battle of power versus power. versus power. This is a big now, inside and out. Yeah, hey. external and internal. Now, Aegis has a kick right on Kane's face. He was pleading Aegis Styles to leave. Aegis Styles having the upper hand in this match over the winter, which is needed to win his match. Aegis Styles, somehow, I mean, somewhere in his demon was so scary, people just stopped right in their tracks. I mean, when Kane got people spinning around, he was like, I don't know that. Kane just went ballistic after that. Just ask Rob Van Dam. His opponent is the big red monster. Okay. And he will have to pick any chance which is thrown away at him. And now Kane with a great reversal. With a nice reversal. Decent reversal. He just died. Right now, looking for punish an opponent like this. Yeah, you really have to enjoy hurting someone. Kane with a great knee. Oh, sorry, elbow. Punch check. Looking fresh out there, you're not going to lose the matches. Low drop right at Kane's foot. And this is a fact that is known for you. But it's you not know, just the viciousness of the move, foot, it's something that makes it so notorious. More, you know, it's the times and places that Kane has chosen to use. There's a more telling picture of Kane's ruthlessness than his history with the tombstone. That's where you need to talk about. Oh, look at this. He just has a on his shoulders. Quite like this guy. He just has a great 
previous charge. Now we are on this move. I've heard it from countless superstars over the years, including Stone Cold Steve Austin, that this arena in Rosemont is their favorite arena to compete in. Cole, what do you got in mind? Now he just starts stinging or something. Oh, I think it's... Oh, great diversion by Steve! Great diversion! This is a dangerous this position to be in. He needs to be able to find a way he to clear the cobwebs it. and regroup. Right on his back. That's great. Now what is he doing? Extra slow getting back to his base here. Bridging that chair. Bridging the chair. He just uh, doing a great um, job. Well, out here you have to be able to think no, on your feet, landing fast. So one mistake, like one moment game. of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. Not with the table. And Kane got that table. Oh, oh great job, kick! Should be. This is what the action needs to be. Great, great action. Wow, he's still down after that. that. Kane is exhausted this match. I mean, Kane has been exhausted. Extreme rules is such a dangerous night. Anytime you throw the rule book out the window, somebody is bound to get seriously hurt. Great counter by King. He knew what was coming his way. He had to win. Looking to be in great now physical just, condition uh, here. Almost impervious to pain. This might be it. It's a 
franchise lift in the game. Y'all know what it is. Signature. Let's get it. Stiles might just win this one right here, though. I'm not sure I can watch this. Ties. You can He's practically really feel the wear and tear that's been done throughout this match. Now, Demon of the Rivers. The game. Making a statement as we speak. Well, we're on the move here. God knows what the game is planning right now.
have the potential to beat the king, to beat the paper king. He will see that he will be able to do. I mean, I mean some, some people will do that. Top out. He had his potential and his willpower as with him. That due to this, he didn't tap out. AJ Styles won by pinfall. This was his first match against Kane, but Kane didn't let the authority down for the mood in which he smashed his head. But Kane sure got a beating of his lifetime. You can say, yeah. Got a beating, a real fat beating. He got dropped off two, two tables. And then, uh, got dropped on two tables. Got wedged on a chair. What else? This was really extreme, this match. It was really, very really extreme. So thank you everyone for watching this episode. This was episode 23. Yeah, should be 23 only. Or 22. I'll check it. Don't worry about it. So, episode 22. It is. And let's go back home. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. So our relationship with Kane has gotten higher. And we're no longer in a rivalry with him. Okay, I'll do it. Let's see who our opponent. I mean, we'll get to know it about it in the next uh, episode, surely. Let's see who he will be. Okay, so our next match is with Daniel Bryan. Okay. So thank you everyone for watching this episode. Please uh, do also, please also don't try, don't forget to watch the previews and other episodes too. I mean, the previews are also a little important and fascinating and inter interesting too, because they summarize the whole moment in just five minutes. Yeah, five minutes. Thank you for watching.